All right, in order to create a symbol using uh, Flash CS5, we are going to uh, start by creating uh, whatever your basic shape will be. We use symbols to, uh, if you want to tween something and you want it to do a constant moving, you would use a symbol. So you might have, like if you had a person walking, you'd have him going through each of the different steps on his walk cycle. Uh, or if you wanted to have a, in this case, I'm going to have a ball bouncing across the screen. Uh, screen. I'm going to make the up and down motion inside of my symbol, and then I can just tween it across. That way I don't have to do any frame-by-frame -frame animation, and I still get the desired effect. If you look um, up animated GIFs, not animated GIFs, I'm sorry. If you look up sprites, um, those are people walking, like they're using things like video games, uh, 2D video, video games, uh, walk cycle. Uh, this will give you kind of an idea of uh, what we're talking about. So, But if I'm going to do a bouncing a ball, I'm going to start off with my oval tool, back in my properties li library, and I'm going to have a um, make a red ball holding down shift. I'm going to make sure that it is a ball and not an oval. All right, so I'll start with my ball just like this. Next step to make a symbol is to right-click on your shape or whatever you're turning into a symbol and click on Convert to Symbol. I'm going to name this symbol my red ball, and it is a movie clip. You can also do buttons or graphics. We're working with a movie clip right now, and I'm going to push OK. All right, if I look over here, I'll see that I have in my library a red ball. Uh, if I delete this right here, since it's in my library, I can just drag it back over, and that's my symbol. In order to edit my symbol, what it does, you double-click on it, and it's going to take me inside of my symbol. You can tell right here by looking in the upper left-hand corner, you have this little icon with the gear that lets you know you're inside of your symbol. I am going to make my ball bounce up and down. That way, when I move it across my screen with a tween, it's going to uh, work. So I'm going to work in 20 uh, frame increments, putting in uh, a new uh, keyframe at 20 by hitting F6. My first frame, I'm going to start it here. My second frame, I'm going to move it all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so that's my first frame. That's my second frame. Right click. And I'm going to create a classic tween. If I hit enter just to check it out, I'm bouncing down. Now I want to bounce back up. I'm going to stick in uh, frames of 20. Uh, I'm going to do a F6. I'm going to move this back up to the top. And I'm going to create a classic tween right there. I'm going to continue moving with this. Uh, I'm going to have one high bounce and then a lower bounce um, with my every 20 frames. So if I go uh, F6... I'm going to bring it back down to the bottom for this frame. All right, and inside of here, I'm going to create a classic tween. I'm going to bring it up much, much um, lower next time in my 20th frame by hitting F6. I'm going to bring it back to about <clears throat> right here. And I am going to call that good. So um, we're going to have, after I put in my classic tween, I'm going to call that good. So now I have a symbol. If I play my symbol, it's going to look something like, oh, i got to go back down to the ground. Something like that. So i got 100 frames uh, right here. And it's just my ball bouncing. Um, control enter. There we go. That looks more like what I wanted to see. A shorter bounce and then a higher bounce. Um, so uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, I am going to go back. Actually, I'm going to just down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go back into. I'm in my symbol right now. I'm going to go back into my regular movie. You'll notice you don't see any of that. That's all saved inside of this symbol. If I double click on here, bam, I'm back uh, to where my I can edit what my symbol looks like. Now that I'm that far, say I want to have a good long take a good long time to get across the screen. All right, um, I'm going to start with the ball off the screen, or end with the ball off the screen. I'm going to start with my ball off the screen on this side. All right, and then obviously I need to put my tween in here. If I preview my video, all right, we're going to have a nice slow bouncing. Oh, see, I should, my first frame on my other one, I should change. That's making it look kind of funky, but my ball is already bouncing across without any frame by frame animation and if i fix that choppiness in that first frame uh it would be uh perfect it would save me a lot of time this is the same way if you have somebody walking frame by frame walking they can just repeat 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 and then when they get to the stop, last frame you want them to stop you just put in um, instead of a symbol you put in a picture of them standing still and then uh, you would be good to go uh, so that's how you use a symbol
for this video, you need to have at least one of them uh, included.